Hi everyone, um, we're getting towards exam time and so it's a really good idea to get thinking about the equations we need to know for our physics papers regardless of whether you're studying 0654 or 0625 or any of the other um, physics exams hopefully this could be of help. Okay, what we're going to do here is, is look at the equation for weight. Um, if you've got any small cards and you want to make your own revision, little flashcards, I'd really recommend taking some or even all of the information here. And on the back, you can try the question which is going to come up um, once we've learned the equation. So let's get straight to it. Um, the equation for weight. Well, putting it into words, the way we would describe weight is as follows. It is the product of the mass and the gravitational field strength. In other words, if we want to have weight, which is a force, we need to take two things, m and g, mass and gravitational field strength, um, and if we multiply those things together, we get the weight. So you might be asked in a question to define what is meant by weight or how we calculate it. This is a good description of that. Now, often we're simply asked to use the equation which results from this definition. And to do this, we're going to construct the triangle. Now, I know some people don't like the triangle so much. Okay, they're good for these sort of more simple equations. They do break down a bit later, so we won't rely 100% on these. Um, the triangle, well, if we're looking at the multiplication and division, we're going to put W on our top, we're going to put M on the left, and we're going to put G on the right there. And all I'm going to do in these boxes underneath the triangle is give us our three forms of the equation. This first one is W equal to mg, and I'm going to call this the multiple form. Um, generally, I find the multiple form the easiest one to remember uh, because it's it's it doesn't we don't need to worry about what we're dividing by what. Okay, we know that the first thing is um, the product of the second two, so we've got W equal to mg. However, you may be asked to calculate, for example, m. Well, that would be W divided by G. When you look at this triangle, you can see that W is above G. And similar, G is W by M. Okay. Now, obviously, you don't need to remember all of these. Um, and one of them is enough. So if you can remember one of these um, forms, then you can work out the other ones by doing a simple bit of rearrangement. I always encourage my students to remember the multiple form. That's W equal to MG. And one way of doing that is via a mnemonic. Okay, now sometimes it's easier to make a mnemonic for um, certain equations, and I find that this one is an easy one. Okay, what I like to remember is that weight is made by gravity. W equal to mg. Okay, now, as I say, this is not for everyone. Um, mnemonics can be uh, helpful for some and helpful for others. Some people like remembering the equation. Some people like remembering the triangle. Some people like remembering the mnemonic. Some people do things other ways, okay? So this is just a suggestion. Weight is made by gravity. It tells me that weight comes before M and G in that multiple form, and therefore I know that W is equal to MG. All right, so as I say, you could take the time to pause the video, maybe copy down any of these things, might just copy down the triangle, you might copy down the, the mnemonic, whatever you want to copy down. Once you've done so, why don't we have, um, why don't you pause the video, I suppose, and take a bit of time for that, and then move on to the next slide, which is a question. Okay, <laughs> I've given you the answer here. All right, didn't really mean to do that. I'll make sure that comes off in the, the following videos. However, I want to talk about how we get that answer. Okay, now this is taken from a recent past paper. Um, I always encourage students to look at the number of marks in this case. This is a three mark question. And on the surface of it is a fairly simple one. Okay, we're being asked to calculate the weight of a 20 gram mass. Okay, and we're told the gravitational field strength G is equal to 10 newtons per kilogram. What do we have to do then? Well, what we should always do is list our variables, the things that we know. In this case, we know the mass and we know the gravitational field strength. But we notice there that the mass is expressed in grams, not in kilograms. So that extra mark, that third mark here, is going to come from us remembering to convert from grams into kilograms. Okay. All right. So we know that we've got um, 20 grams. Well, we know that there are a thousand grams in one kilogram, and so therefore what we have to do is divide that 20 by 1000 to get 0 0.02. Okay, um, and then we've got G, and we want to know W. I like writing out my variables, I like reminding myself of what I want to calculate, so W is a question mark, I don't know what it is. 
we know m, we know g, what's w? w equal to mg. So we're going to write down our equation. We're going to put in our values, 0 0.02 times 10, and we're going to get our final value of 0 0.2 newtons. Now notice there, I'm going fairly over the top um, with my working because I want to make sure I'm getting all the marks. It's a three mark question. I really don't want to lose any marks on these calculation questions because calculations, you've got a calculator in front of you, you shouldn't be getting the answer wrong, but you might miss something in terms of the working. So always be as full as possible in your um, answer when you're doing these questions. So that's our weight equation. We've looked at the different forms of the equation. We've looked at a mnemonic to help us remember it. And we've tried one past paper question from an extended paper. Nothing too difficult there. I hope that's helpful. If you've got any particular questions, uh, equations that you've had trouble with, or you've got your own mnemonic, or you've got um, anything you want to ask about using equations, please do so in the comments. Um, and I'll be putting more of these videos up. So if you subscribe to the channel, you'll get a notification whenever any of these come up. Uh, and you can use them for your revision. Thanks for watching, as ever, and good luck with your physics revision.